Hey guys, dun, welcome back to some dun, more dun, dun, Super dun. Mario 64. We're heading up and to the top floor in this part, and uh, we're going on without Ken, so he might jump in in the middle of this or something. We'll see. Also, probably one of the most famous clubs in the game. Everyone and their grandma knows about that one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Why do you like the clip? The clipping! This was a very early 3D game. There's a lot of weird clipping issues because things aren't put together all that strongly. Same thing for Ocarina of Time. But, uh, we'll get to that later on. I think everybody and their grandma recognizes this theme. Well, everyone and their grandma recognizes this game as a whole. Music, gameplay, everything. Mm. After this all, is like the we mo mentioned like earlier in the, in the playthrough, yeah. it's like the most played game on the internet, and everyone has played it. Yep. Except me. Well, you've played it, you just haven't beaten it. I said play, I didn't mean beat. <laughs> Why'd you hit the ping? Why are you head on? Why are you on his head? Because that's how you avoid getting blown off. There's two things you can do. You can stand behind the penguin, or you can just jump on top of his head. I think jumping on his head's more interesting. Either Matt's really far behind, or I'm really far behind. No, you just got the star, so I'm not behind. Eh, uh, not really. I'm just going back in now. I don't know, we're all different parts of the video. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go when you said go. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he did the same. I'm gonna blame YouTube's buffering on it. <laughs> cause I'm watching well, straight hit... from my machine, cause I'm not taking a chance from YouTube's buffering. I never do. Fair enough. Well, that was easy. Yeah, no. The stars <laughs> in this level are easy in general. The easiest yep. star is coming up next, actually, in this level. One of the very easiest stars in the game, the easiest in the level. The maze star, where you just have to jump inside of one hole in the maze. Takes you like five seconds to do if you know what you're doing. Well, most things are pretty easy to do if you know what you're doing, but not well, many Well, that too, do. yeah, but... <laughs> this is one of those really obvious ones. You're supposed like to go Starcraft, through the maze, it's like but... Starcraft, it's like, yeah, it's like Starcraft 2 Platinum is easy to do if you know what you're doing. It's like... Oh, no <laughs> pretty <shit>. much. <laughs> Like, they're, you're supposed to go through the maze, but if you can jump to the top, you can just jump in the hole as Get well. Get that monkey. Get that monkey. Where are you seeing a monkey? There's a monkey. We're what? in a snow level. I don't know where you're seeing a monkey. <laughs> monkey? In the There's wrong no level. monkey in what? the... What? I think you're monkey? on the wrong part. <laughs> We're on part oh. eight. What are you watching, yeah. nine? It's like, for some reason, the... Thing jumped to nine instead of eight for me. Uh, well, that's awkward. Well, wow. I guess you need a time check. <laughs> you spoiled the next part. <laughs> yeah, I spoiled that there's a monkey. <laughs> well, it's not really a spoiler as much as it is a reason to watch. What, what part are we on? Oh, okay. Well, you both need a time <laughs> Hello. check. Just, uh, tell me when you guys have part eight loaded, not nine, and then I'll just tell you guys in time. Okay, so we haven't started part eight yet. No, we we're have. We're on it right now. <laughs> we're in the of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the time is like 3.34, 5, 6, 7. And we're in snowman land. Can I just say 3.49 and just and call it there? Yeah, 3.49. I'll just give you a, a go when it's there. 6, 7, go. 8, 9, go. Yeah, okay. you'll be caught up. How about you, Kevin? 44, 45... Uh, okay, we're at the so 4 minute mark. <laughs> well, him getting Close the enough. easiest star and all, like, the game. So wait, he's already finished with the higher dollar box? Yeah. 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 We finished that. that was all in last gosh, part, so... Gosh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, you said, let's, well, I'm gonna say out the rest of the part, so that also meant you're sitting out the rest of the level. You didn't Sam, much. I, I didn't know you, you were gonna finish dire dollar box in one part, though. <laughs> I usually just get to finish these levels in one part. Zap. I don't know. How many parts does an usual LP of this go for? It's like usually 40. around like 20 to 30 at the very most. I don't see this going on for that long. It also yeah, depends this... on when it was uploaded too. If it was uploaded during the 10 minute time limit, it's probably like 30 to 40. I think you practiced a lot before you did this. Yeah. Well, like I, I've mentioned this constantly during the playthrough, but there was a lot of resets on the stars, so... These are just sometimes the first attempt, sometimes like the fifth. 
Just so just the we look at the number of lives day. he has. So yeah. it's a lie in terms of it being a speed run. Then I see. Well, it, it, if you call Actually, a speed run, it's, it's like a, the number of lives you have. What happened? A, because didn't it's you have a like segment run. And I, every single time I finish an area, I turn off the game. So it resets you back to four whenever you turn it off. Uh, uh, oh, this okay. and the Galaxy games do that. Oh. Trying to do that is really annoying. Especially getting those coins. Oh yeah, trying oh, to get yeah. those coins after you uh, circle around one of these snowmen on the thing oh, shell is trying one to get the hundred coins. Close the door, David. Yeah, because I'm going for red coins now, so I'm going to get the hundred coin out of the way. Hey, hey, Ken, have you ever read the book No, David, No? Why I take it? What that's what that reminded you of? Yeah. Because <laughs> it was David. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's just say that they think I'm being loud and I'm not. Yeah, that's why I always record my door closed as well, for the same reason. Bonk. Yeah. But this igloo, you're supposed to uh, crawl your way into it, but because of the ice physics, you can actually just crouch and let the ice fix it, uh, physics just slide you straight in. That's what I was trying to do, which is why it kind of got a little glitchy. You are failing hitting that Goomba. There you go. Yeah, that happens from time to time. Might that far ahead. <laughs> oh, apparently so. What, what are you seeing? Uh, I'm at 628. 629. Oh, you're, you're ahead by like five seconds, so you're not that far ahead. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Three, oh, I thought this egg blue was pretty cool. Oh, wait, why didn't you get the rest of the coins there? I want to just get the uh, last two coins with the last red coin I have left, so. I don't want to get the star in there. I just want to get it out here. I have them appear at the same time, so. Makes it a little easier. Also, it's always cool when you can get two stars appear at once in the game. <laughs> Especially if you can collect one during that moment, which is extremely difficult to do, but it is possible. You just have to have your timing right with the jump as soon as you grab that coin, but... I've never seen anyone do it, though. So I'm just assuming it's possible. He's like, hello, I got a snowball for you. You're like, no snowman, I one star, not a snowball. Yeah, snow, uh, I'll take that later. I, I just want to start for now. Well, there you go. We've had, 100 we've red had coins out of the way. Well done. And you're only halfway, well, less than halfway into the party and you're already getting the Yeah, last we're start. doing two levels in this part, not one, so. Well, to be fair, this level is pretty small, so. Yeah, this oh, level yeah. is very small and it doesn't take that much time. In fact, actually, this is the longest part in the playthrough, but that's only because I'm doing both this level and then the next level we're gonna go to all in this one video, so it just it just works out. <sighs> okay, I have, a, I have a random question, and Lester might know what I'm talking about. Have you ever heard of vector marketing? Uh, actually, I never heard of that myself. Well, basically, they've been going around to a bunch of random college students trying to get them to, to apply. It did to sell, do a really random job for it. No, 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 Ken, don't do hey, it, don't do it. I'd, That's commission based. Don't. I, yeah, uh, it sounded they, commission I based. I that they know. were trying to have me sell knives to people. Yeah, I know, I was about to say. Don't do it, Ken, it's commission based. Impossible. Yeah, I wouldn't do it then. Stuff, I wasn't so. that interested to begin with, and <laughs> what was really annoying is that they. I can't tell you how many times they tried to call me after that. Mess. Yeah, that's what those people usually do, which is why if you don't give them your number, you're better off. I never give people my number. Even when they tell you, the only way you can leave here or get this certain thing is you give us a number. If I do that, I'm giving you like 111 or something stupid like that. But uh, this star here, you're supposed to raise the water level a little bit using platforms to get over here, but there's a warp right in that little uh, corner. So, you can just hit the warp up to where the cannon is, and then jump down to the star, which is a lot easier. Or you can get a star there. <laughs> Shocking arrow ellipse! But this level is one of the more unique ones, because the level that you jump into the painting actually alters the uh, the water level in the level itself, so that's really for interesting. Re for some reason, I always liked the underwater city part of this level. I yeah, that part's cool. really nice to look at. I always liked it myself for the aesthetic point. Well, there's a lot of aesthetic points I like about this game, kind of think of it. Huh. Yeah, it, it has a pretty good atmosphere for the first 3D platformer by Nintendo. Or, you gotta wonder, is that Gerudo Valley in the background? I think it was actually <laughs> supposed to be Atlantis, but uh, you have a point there. <laughs> 
Because we're underwater during this whole entire thing. But, uh, yeah, Gerudo Valley now underwater. <laughs> That's an interesting combination. Alright, but now we go for five secrets, which... These secrets have really weird hitboxes. You just have to stand in the area where the uh, numbers would appear. So the ones that are in the boxes, for example, you don't need to break open the boxes. You just need to jump through it, like that. For the longest of time, I thought you actually have to break open the boxes to actually get the numbers, but that's not the case. Has anybody um, heard of the Kaizo Mario 64 hack? Uh, yes I did, and yeah. it's Kaizo Mario, so heck no. <laughs> As I'm hearing Matt smash his head against the ground, I'm, I think that brought up some bad memories. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to talk about that. You've played, played that you one? Played it. <laughs> yes, I've played that one. Oh, uh, I feel bad for you. Why'd you play it? Well, cause, because like, I wanted to be a masochist for a day. Because he's Matt. I played Kyle's well, Mario World, but that that's actually a lot more manageable than 64. Well, because like I was bringing it up because I remember how stupidly cryptic some of the secret locations were in this level. I only noticed because I watched a uh, Retsu Pure video of this, but yeah. Well, that I I was kind of the same. That's where I got exposed to it myself, and it's just. It, it's really not that pleasant at all because of the location of things. It didn't need to be that complex. Wait, what? That's still gotta be the most random... Ah. Oh, now you notice that, that's the second time we took the warp, man. Where have you been? Yeah, the, we, we did that for the first star. Matt, yeah. I don't know, because we were talking about Kaizo. Uh, not we just then. brought that up now. I don't know. That's so Kaizo. I, you're drifting off, man. I don't know. Matt, go home. You're drunk. You know what? For some reason, I, this is another star I did the hard way. I used wall kicking to get up here the first time I played this. That's actually faster if you can do it, but I can't do it for the life of me, so I still take the elevator. The way I used to do it, though, is I would break the box, then raise the water level, then activate the elevator and just swim up. That's Wait, the hardest raise, way to get up there. Raise the water Yeah, I said like I'd, I would if I was a five year old. Raise the water level. <laughs> like, why? The I just water noticed level. that. Wait, I just noticed water. that. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna raise the water level. Apparently I'm sex again. See, Matt's talking like he normally does again. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm yeah, six again. That's what Mario 64 does. Let's not bring up the way you talk to Angie in the recordings, okay? Oh, so, well, I don't yeah, even talk to Angie. That See, that's not that's yeah. not safe for work. <laughs> it's close enough at times, but yeah, <laughs> I would say the same. <laughs> Those guys are annoying. I don't like them. They are, which is why I try to avoid them like the plague. Yeah. Especially in TikTok clock, because one wrong move and those things will just throw you into a bottomless pit. Oh God. The worst don't thing ever. <laughs> That level okay. took me the longest to record out of all levels in this one. That took mm. me, I think, I two hours to put together. Doing... Jeez. Yeah, I know. What is your opinion about the people that actually consider this to be, like, the best game on, in the entire world? They haven't played that many other Mario platformers then. I really do enjoy this one, but at the same I time, can't it's Super Mario probably Galaxy not my better. favorite. I, no, I actually really like Sunshine a lot, actually. I'm one of those people who just enjoy Sunshine to just the fullest amount. I used to love Sunshine, but Lester can bounce on me on that. <laughs> yeah, well, at the same time, I'm I'm so used to controls, so I guess that's a big reason why you don't like it. You're not used to those controls. I mean, I like Mario Galaxy. I think that's my favorite Mario game. Yeah, same here. I mean, the other day I got to play it, I was feeling pretty down. That actually made me really happy, so... It also shows that the the Mario Galaxy games are really good if you're depressed, because I'll make you happy again. <laughs> I, I just really enjoy the Mario platforms as a whole, though, but I wouldn't say this one's the best. One of my most enjoyable ones. I enjoy it more than the Galaxies, but that's simply because I grew up with it, so there's not only a big nostalgic point, but... It's just, I did it's too, very last familiar two, but that didn't, doesn't, you know, affect me. <laughs> That's true, but at the same time, in the beginning of this playthrough, you already said this was a game you can't come back to, so there's that. If there's a game you can't come back to, of course you're gonna not really favor it. Uh, kind of the same when it comes to 
very difficult games I thought were pretty enjoyable. It's just I don't want to touch with a five-foot pole again. Um, look at you, Zelda Parallel Worlds. Wait, you had a nostalgic feel for Parallel Worlds? What? No, I, I, I enjoyed the game while I was playing it, but it was too difficult. I wouldn't go back to it. Oh. Especially because of the version changes makes the Lost, uh, Lost Woods section a pain to deal with. Because I used a version that was old, because that was the version I was able to install on my Wii. And then the, the walkthrough I was finding was for a newer version, so I, I had to figure out the maze myself. And I was sitting there for like two days trying to figure it out. It Emperor's stupid. Ways, man. Emperor's Ways. <laughs> yeah. As a whole, that game is just too difficult to really enjoy going back to. Uh, Which structure actually, game is just too difficult to really go to without a guide. I actually never played Parallel Worlds. I was just watching how frustrated Team UDF was when I when he LP'd that game. I still need to Camera? watch uh, P. Cole's playthrough of the game to be more familiar They're with it. Stop eating. I never could figure out how the invisible cap can actually go through this brick wall right here. Yeah, the the invisible cap can go through certain things, and apparently this section was one of the sections where it can go through. It didn't make that much sense to me either, but eh, don't complain. There we go. Sound like someone hit snoring. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the same thing. Is this so boring? You're falling asleep already. Don't get caught in between buildings, Slasher. Well, not the weird no. thing is the hit detection on the poles in this game are really, really wonky on the bottom. So if you grab the bottom of the pole, it throws you straight off, which is what it did there. You notice that in the Bowser levels, especially. Mm. Well, mainly uh, Bowser 3, because you can climb on the poles to be a little faster in the end, but have fun trying to do that. Mario's just gonna have a spaz attack trying to grab it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still can't grab that thing for the life of me. And if I can, that really just helps for speedrunning sake. I'm like sitting there, I'm like, Lester, grab those three coins. I don't need them. Yeah. I have 99. I only need one more. <laughs> I'm behind. Crap. He maxed out his HP. Yahoo. Yeah, you're not there really behind if I'm getting the star right now, if you're seeing that. I'm about a couple, about half a second behind. Something like that, so that's not that bad. Mm. Whoa. Yeah, I failed that triple jump, so now I gotta take the awkward way up. Oh. Wall jumping on a slanted wall. Not fun. Well, wall jumping in general is awkward in this game. Well, it wasn't too awkward in this one, but yeah, I do agree. It was the first game to have a wall jump, so... It's not well, the best. Well, uh... And now you can't okay, see first Mario true game, game to have a wall jump. Not by just weird physics in 2D games. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I don't count weird I physics in wall jump. <laughs> I love the little X's on his face. Whenever yeah, the expression's her. pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, you, you, did you just say that expression was pretty cool? Yeah, the expression was pretty cool, yes. Because he's not That's doing that expression. now. Expression. Okay. Expression, yeah, I, I see the pun in there now. <laughs> Thank and then you. somehow this is already raised, okay. Yeah, because if you jump at the highest point in the painting, it'll be raised to the very top. So you don't need the yep. cannon to go over to the uh, second portion of the level. Just oh wait! Grab the top. What? Yeah, the water is yeah. raised up high enough so you can grab the ledge. No, 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 no. Depending on how how high you jump into the painting, it affects it. You never yeah, know. Yeah, this effect that. I, I, even I knew that, Ken. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. And you Where thought you were gonna get hate. That? Now we know who's gonna get hate instead. That is something that takes some people a long time to figure out, in all honesty, though. I figured it out because one of the signs in this level says that certain uh, areas you jump in will change water levels, so I knew that the little switches around the level wasn't doing anything different, so. Well, then the, again, uh, that, painting I didn't make must it official that I did. Well, I didn't make it official, but I don't read half the text in this game, so. True, so you won't be able to figure it out by text. You just have to figure it out by looking around. TikTok Whoa! Clock does the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there you go. You can make it up here if you uh, just jump off of that uh, block of the cap, but it's 
as you saw, it's pretty difficult to do, so... Oh, yeah. Just wait it out. Block of the cap. Block of the cap, yep. Alright, we're just gonna get one more star, mm. and then uh, call it quits for this one, and it's a toad. Winner! One of the only toads you really need to talk to as well. There's two toads up in the uh, top floor to give you stars. I always think it's just one, but there's two. There you go, 89 stars. Hooray. So, that's go uh, to the next painting, and that's what we'll call it quits. Wait, you said we were going to call it quits when we got to the, this the star. part. <laughs> you liar! I didn't specify. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I gotta be more specific, I see.